Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. For today's baking video, we're going to start with a round cake. I'm working with a six inch cake. Um, it doesn't have to be this size, but make sure it's round. I'm just going to remove the top part with my cake leveler. Once I remove the top part, I'm just going to go with my knife and cut this into two parts. And as you can see, my cake is uh, red and has like chocolate chip all over the place. And it's because I used one half of this cake for a baking video that is already in my channel. So for the leftover pieces um, that we removed with the cake leveler, we're going to just place them on a clean bag and we can use them later or you can eat them. And now for the half of this cake, we're going to be starting with the round cookie cutter and I'm just going to remove the part on the bottom part just to make it look like a rainbow and I'm just going to remove that piece then I'm going to be working on a cake base this is a cardboard round some wax paper and some tape and pretty much I'm going to just uh, take my cardboard take my wax paper place it on the top of my cake base the tape part is just so my uh, wax paper doesn't move while I'm working. So I'm just going to place my cake on top of it. Then I'm going to be using yellow coloring. Since I'm going for the rainbow here, I'm just going to stick to the basics, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And then I'm just going to be working with some whipped cream. Take six bowls and I'm just going to add a few spoons of whipped cream. Then I'm going to just color my whipped creams. And just make sure you don't use liquid food coloring because it does tend to change the consistency of your whipped cream or your frosting. So I'm just going to mix those colors until I have this result. Then I'm going to place my cake upside down and this is so I can work with the bottom of my cake. I'm just going to be working with a tipless piping bag. I do have a review on this bags that I use all the time and I love. I'm just going to place some purple in there on the indentation just to kind of cover the whole uh, cake with frosting or whipped cream. I'm just going to keep on saying that I'm um, using frosting but I'm using whipping cream but it's easier to say frosting. Then I'm going to go with a spoon and filtered water and I'm just going to smooth what I just did. The spoon has to be like damp, not really wet. This pretty much reminds me of like a making a toast movement is. For the actual design, this cake, as you can see, has some colors in there. It's because, it's because I made a few mistakes and I didn't like them and I just removed the design. Nothing happens really because we're going to be placing the rainbow on top of there. I'm just going to take tipless piping bags with a bigger hole in it and then I'm just going to uh, pretty much start adding my frosting. Keep in mind we're adding six colors so just don't go crazy on those curvy lines because then you're going to be needing more space so just keep in mind space wise what you need. And I wasn't using any tip but I think Wilton 1M would do if you want to just be safe and just use a tip. Then I'm just going to go and fill my whole uh, rainbow. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take a brush. Now this is a baking brush that I bought from Wilton and it came in a set, but if I didn't have this brush or if I didn't have the set, but I still wanted to try this technique, I would just go to arts and craft stores, buy a brush that you use just for baking, clean it like with soap and water, and then just use it for baking. Just make sure it's a delicate brush because we need that delicacy to work with this design. I'm just going to dip my brush into some water. I'm just going to go really lightly kind of like smoothing the lines blending them together I think this is the best way that I would describe what I'm doing here because I wanted this uh, rainbow to be more of a paint rather than just like defrosting itself you know what I mean but it pretty much depends if you want to go for like a 2d effect just leave your uh, your frosting as it was before it's pretty important that you clean your brush after each color because if not you're going to be having a mixed situation of colors otherwise your jello is going to end up looking like a mess it's really easy actually while i was making this i found it pretty relaxing because it almost feels like painting so yeah just keep on doing that until your surface is as smooth as you want it to be then i'm going to grab a plate and some piping bag i'm using a wilton m and some uh, whipped cream and i'm going to kind of like add some what are supposed to be clouds with my petal cake technique and i'm just going to with my spatula i uh, just have to drag the frosting or the whipped cream that you're using and yeah i'm just going to then place my cake on top of my now clouds 
What's missing now is just to decorate the top part. You can leave it like this if you want to, but I just want to add something else just using the petal cake uh, technique that I use in the clouds with my spatula with some water. I'm just going to drag my frosting towards the cake and that's pretty much all there is to it. And yeah, this is pretty much the rainbow cake sitting on some clouds. Perfect for summertime or all year round. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have a baking uh, playlist. Check it out. Don't forget to share this one so more people can watch it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.